everyone, it's Jody at Chico Scrapbooks with this week's Make and Take. We're going to be doing these gorgeous dragonfly tags. Hope you enjoy the video and we'll go ahead and get started. So this week we used the Tim Holtz Alterations Layered Dragonfly Die and Texture Folder. And it, this die is definitely one of my favorites, favorite of his um, layered dies because the texture and the detail that you get on these is just amazing. You can see, hopefully you can see this on the video, but the detail that you get when you run these die cuts through the texture folder is just really, really neat, really detailed, and you get a lot of fun texture. So we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing we did is, of course, the background inking, and we're going to be using Squeeze Lemonade. Just blending it onto our tag. This is the number eight ink essentials tag. And there's really no right or wrong way, no right or wrong pattern, just any way you like a nice pattern. What's great about these inks is the blending. So if you don't like the way it's turning out, just add another color and blend it in till you like it. Just add a little bit of wild honey. Okay. And then we're going to do some tumble glass. And I love the way these inks blend. Using the yellow and the blue, of course, you get a pretty green. And it really takes no effort to get a beautiful blended background. Okay. Go ahead and add a little bit of broken china. Blending, layering our colors together. Go back in now and get a little more green by using more yellow. So, I think we'll do a little bit of peel paint green areas just to give it a nice, rich, vibrant green color. Blending is just fabulous. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's our background. Of course, we're going to add a little bit of water, so let me grab my spritzer. So to get this wicking look in the background. We've been doing this a lot lately, but um, you can see the wicking and the dripping from adding water. And it's such a fun effect, especially if you're doing something that should look organic or like it's from nature. It shouldn't be too perfect. And it's a great way to get a distressed look. Just flick a little bit of water and let it dry. Go ahead and let that set up. 
you can really see the water start to wick away the ink and if you tilt it a little bit you'll get a little bit of dripping pattern and then when you like it you just give it a little dab we'll do just a couple of spritzes I think that looks pretty good. So we'll just let that dry for a second and I'll hit it with the heat tool. It's normal to see your tag curl up when it's wet, it will do that, but you know it's completely dry when it flattens out again. So. If you're wondering when your tag is completely dry, just heat it a little bit on the back side. And when it flattens out, that means it's dry. Okay, so I'm going to actually go in and add a little bit of color, a little more. Maybe I'll do a little bit of faded jeans around the edge just to give it a nice contrast. Blend it in. And I'm just going to touch up this color, try to bring back some of this vibrancy. There we go. The water will dissipate your, your distress ink. So if you find that you are losing some of the dynamic color range, just after you spritz water on it, just go back in and bring it back to life with a little more distress ink. You won't lose your wicking pattern. You'll just get a little more of your dynamic range back in. I think that looks pretty good. And maybe just a little bit, maybe just a little bit of green. This is Shabby Shutters. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and stamp our sentiment. And this week we use Stampers Anonymous Nature's Discovery CMS 049 and we used the foliage, and we used the quote. And the quote says, imagination is more important than knowledge, for while knowledge defines all we currently know and understand, imagination leads us to all we might yet discover and create. And I thought that was a really nice quote for a creative tag, especially with the dragonfly. So we'll go ahead and ink this up with archival black. I'm just going to stamp on the bottom right hand corner and lift and then we're going to do some stamps all around with the foliage. I'm going to do one on top, right there. around the base. And one more. Right about there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add some stickles and let this set aside to dry while we work on our dragonfly. You want to be sure to remove your archival ink before you before it dries. Otherwise, it's semi-permanent on your craft mat, which might not be a big deal to you, but if you want it off, do it while it's wet. So this is champagne stipples. 
I'm just going to dab it onto the foliage. And it adds a really fun sparkle. It doesn't have to be too perfect. I just add a nice highlight and it'll pick up the light. So I'm just going to quickly go through and dab it on. in several different little areas here. Doesn't have to be too neat or too perfect. A few more little pieces cover and I think we'll be all set with our stickles. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yep. Alright. So I hope you can see how fun that looks. And a nice detailed shot. The stickles really add a lot of cute bling and really catch the light. Okay, so we're going to set that aside and we're going to go ahead and do our dragonfly. Now there's two different texture sides with the embossing folder, but we're going to use the one that shows all the veins popping out for today. So we used several different colors on this. We're going to go ahead and start with peacock feathers. Across the top half. And then we're going to do some shaded lilac on the tips of the top wings. So the Distress Ink does a great job of picking up the raised surface or the relief surface when you texture something. So, um, but if you want it darker, you can always pick up your ink and just smush it in to give the kind of saturation that you want and then of course you can just pick up any excess that's on your craft mat and blend it in on your piece. Do a little bit more. Just love this shaded lilac color, it's so pretty. Okay, and then I think we'll do a little bit of salty ocean. All these blues and greens and lilac are just perfect for dragonfly. I just love the way these colors all blend together so nicely. Okay. I'm going to do a little bit of mowed lawn. Blending, blending. Nice and bright and vibrant. And then we're going to finish them off with a little bit of shadow shutters on its wings. Blending the colors together. It looks 
really cool. And a little bit, just a little bit more with the peacock feathers. Don't be afraid to go back in and layer it, adding more ink to get the vibrancy and the richness that you want because these colors do a great job of layering. Okay, so now that we've added the peacock feathers, we're going to just touch it with a little bit more shaded lilac. Okay. And now we're going to go ahead and emboss our dragonfly. Hopefully you can see how cool that looks with a nice embossing enamel on the wings and the body of the dragonfly. So we used Ranger's embossing powder in Poly Sparkle, which is kind of hard to find because they don't actually make it anymore. But it just was kind of perfect for this tag. So what we're going to do is actually just tap on our embossing ink. And mine is super messy, but I don't care. So we'll go ahead and... Add our Poly Sparkle Embossing Powder. Covering the whole dragonfly. And then we'll go ahead and tap off the extra. Okay, it looks pretty good. So we'll go ahead and heat it. for just a minute and while we're waiting we'll put our embossing powder back in our little jar. So here at Chico Scrapbooks today we did 65 dragonflies and we only used less than half of the Poly Sparkle bottle. So this stuff is great. The embossing powder lasts a long time and it's well worth the $3.99 price tag. I would encourage you guys to play with embossing powders. This is such a fun way to add an extra special touch to your projects. So we just rounded the wings. You can use a pencil or a pen. We just kind of slightly rounded them with our finger um, to give it a nice bend. And you can just kind of ease it in, give it a little bit of raised curve to it. Okay, and then we're just going to add a pop dot on the bottom. And when our stickle dries, we're going to go ahead and mount that right onto our tag. But I'll go ahead and set it aside for now. And we'll add some pretty fiber to the top of the tag. going to do a bow, a loop, not a bow, but a loop, and we're going to thread our loop through the hole of the tag. And instead of doing a bow, that can sometimes compete with your tag. We're just going to pull it through.
like so. And then you can go in and snip the ends if you wanted to. There's lots of great ways that you can embellish the top of a tag with beautiful fibers or ribbon or lace. Um, but that is pretty much how you do this beautiful tag. And I hope you guys really like this video. If you do like it, please share, leave a comment, and like the YouTube channel. We really appreciate your subscriptions and your comments. And as always, please join us on Wednesdays for free make and take projects. Hope you guys have a fabulous week. Bye for now.